Hey, Capricorn, how are you? Capricorn, thank you guys so much for your time, your love, your support, your positivity, the good vibes, all that good energy. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I give all of that positivity and love and support right back to you. Um, We're going to go ahead and talk about your uh, first 10 days of October and how that's going to look like in love and relationships. Okay, so um, messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, um, maybe even a cross watcher, someone who is dealing with a Capricorn, these messages could be for you. All right. If the story doesn't fit, then do not force it. Okay. Um, Just come back later or watch another sign in your chart. All right. Messages for Capricorn for the first 10 days of October in love. What does spirit want to show us or what do we need to see about the energies? October for the first 10 days of October actually all right let's get one more good shuffle all Okay. Okay, Capricorn. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Listen, this is what I'm feeling like. Listen, so you're in a situation where things are hot, things are heavy, okay? You've got hot lever fireworks, right? So, like, there's a lot of passion there. There's a lot of attraction here with this person, okay? Um, You know, on a genuine, you know, genuinely, right? Like the two of you, when you guys come together, things are very, very hot. Things are very, very passionate. Things are very, very lively, okay? Now, I also see here that um, things can be very, very complicated, okay? Between you and this person, all right? We've got heartbreak here, complicated, okay? So I feel like, uh, oh, and we also have elusive and deceptive here. We also have ending on the table. So, you know, I I just get the feeling here that This, there's something that you can't quite put your finger on here while dealing with this person. Even though things are very, very fun, there's something that you can't quite identify. And I feel like you've, with this book of love information, I feel like you've been over and over in this, in your, about this in your head. You probably have been, have been studying this person, you know, just kind of seeing, you know, if you, you know, what else you can get from this individual but I just feel like there's just something that is just not, it's, it's elusive to you. You're not able to really quite put your finger on it, okay? And that actually makes the complication, okay? Um, that's what actually makes things a little bit hard about this situation. That's quite the only thing that makes it hard about this situation is I feel. It's like you don't know this person enough. There's, there's something about this person that you can't quite get down to or you can't quite, you know, get to know. And that is, you know, not your fault, okay? That's on purpose here. We have deceptive, okay? So there's things that this person is probably um, purposely omitting, okay? Um, You know, things that they probably don't necessarily want you to know the whole story about, okay? Okay? And yeah, I definitely can see how that can be very, very, very heartbreaking here in the situation because what it does is is it puts you in a position of like, okay, no, not this time. Uh Uh-uh, I got to end this. This is not about to be me again. Like, that's what I get here. That's the feeling that I get here. Let me put this up. Let me put this on. Yeah, let me get that right there. So I can have more space. Because we definitely going to put some tarot on this. What's going on?
Now, look, this complicated card here is like, it's a knot, but it's not really that tight of a knot. It's like it's really loose. So the situation doesn't necessarily even have to be complicated. In fact, it wouldn't be if you hadn't grown feelings for this person. Are these feelings returned? We don't know. It seems that way. It seems that way when y'all are making love. It seems that way when y'all are generally around each other. But does it seem that way because that's that's the way he wants you to see it or she wants you to see it? Goodness, Capricorn. All right, let's get one more shuffle and then we'll go ahead and see what Tarot says. Okay. This is a lot. For the first 10 days of October. Okay. So under the deck here, now we've got some conflict here with the Five of Wands. Maybe even competition. Okay, and that makes a lot of sense because now we got the Knight of Wands out here on the deck. So we definitely see that this person may be running in and out. Okay. Yeah, things are hot and heavy with you, but they probably have like a really big libido. They probably got enough for the other person too. Hey, Capricorn, I'm so sorry. But you know what though? I feel like you definitely will be having a lot to say here with this Queen of Swords energy. Okay. Someone definitely has a lot to say. I feel like you're going to be speaking your mind on the matter. And I feel like you're going to make this seven of coins here. I feel like it it makes you kind of uh, make the, this person feel it's, this person is going to feel really small. This person is going to feel like they don't even measure up to be worth dealing with you after you get finished saying what you got to say. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry, Capricorn. So sorry that you have to deal with this type of situation. However, I will say that I'm very, very proud of you for the way that you um, for the way that you stand up for yourself here in these in this situation as well. Okay. So, uh, oh, and by the way, under the deck for that. For the for the oracle cards here, under the deck for that is forbidden fruit. So listen, you know, goodness graciousness, this person could possibly be stepping out, you know, with that with that uh, with that knight of wands. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and. Get some clarifying cards here because I want to see. I can't bring y'all this far to not, you know, see what's really going on. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Spirit, what's going on with this? With this Knight of Wands. Oh, first, of, yeah, I forgot that we had this ending card up here too. So yeah, this is like after you say what you got to say, it's like eh, eh, blocked. So you really actually have a lot of power here in this situation once you actually find out what you're dealing with. So spirit, why is this Knight of Wands here? What's going on with this Knight of Wands? Okay, so the Knight of Wands is actually clarified by the Ten of Cups. So yeah, you sitting here thinking that you're in a happy relationship, in a happy, you know, home, a happy marriage, a happy, you know, thing going on and everything, you know what I'm saying? You sitting here thinking that you got it all, that you got your emotional fulfillment, you know. But meanwhile, your person is, I mean, they're giving it to you, but, but 
but it may be other people in this land that y'all looking over, right? That he giving it to, too. Or she. So let's clarify this Ten of Cups because I want to go further into that because this just don't even make sense to me. What's going on with this, behind this Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups is clarified with the Two of Swords. <laughs> um, so this person, it's like this person knows that they're kind of having a split mind about this like they know that they're over here a little bit and that they over there a little bit and they're genuinely in a situation to where they can't necessarily decide um what they want to do or who they want to be with whether your situation is serious or not serious this person may be dealing with two different people and um they're having to make a choice okay All right, so I was about to ask what the Queen of Swords is being clarified with. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords, is being clarified by the Sun, and also Strength and the Ace of Cups. And I like that energy. I really, really, really like that energy because, um, you know, as things are coming out, as things are being exposed, you show your strength. Okay. You show your strength in the situation, right? As things come to light, you know what I'm saying? Like you show your strength in the situation. And I also feel like there's just like a certain respect for yourself here that won't allow you to, um, to, to bow out in any undignified manner. Um, and also it just speaks to the fact that, you know, like, yeah, you were beginning to actually, you know, the reason why you're speaking so passionately and the reason why you're showing such strength here is because, you know what, you know, and some of you may even choose to show restraint. Like you may feel like you want to have or have a lot to say, but it really is more like you actually may cho choose to show a little bit of restraint here with that strength energy. And, um, and even though, you know, you did have a lot of energy and passion and love in this situation, you know, you're able to kind of um, show your strength by holding that back and just kind of doing whatever it is that you need to do, because that will speak more loudly than anything. Oh, my goodness, Capricorn. Yes. I love how you stand up for yourself here. Let's clarify the seven of Pentacles energy and see what's going on there, because why is the seven of Pentacles here? OK, seven. Oops. Mm, seven, of, seven of Pentacles is being clarified by the King of Cups. So, yeah, remember how I was saying earlier, like some of you, you're saying like, you know, this Seven of Pentacles is like it's, it's like where it's like you're saying, mm, you know what, like you don't even really measure up to everything that I w really would want anyway. Like it's like you're taking a second look at it. You're taking a second guess or you're taking a like you're taking a second look at the situation. Um, like you're assessing the situation a little bit. Um Again, like with, like I said earlier, you may be studying the situation. You're kind of studying this person and realizing that they may not even really be worth it anyway, especially now that you know more about what you're dealing with here. Okay. And I feel like it may have taken you, um, I feel like you may have even um, uh, spent a little bit of time in conclusion here, maybe even stepping away um, from the situation just a little bit. Um, not only again to make sure that you are responding uh in an emotional mature way but also it's mm, to give this person um a little bit of a chance right it's almost where you're kind of this seven of pentacles and this king of cups is almost kind of where you're kind of backing out a little bit to kind of see engage what they're gonna do now that you are the one that's kind of you know making a little bit of space in the situation Okay, so let's go ahead and get further. Let's go ahead and see what else we need to know. Tell me more about this King of Cups energy. Yeah, King of, yeah. What did I say? King of Cups is being clarified with the Queen of Swords. So now we're back at this Queen of Swords energy. Like I said, it's like you're backing up here um, to look at the situation like on a on a wider level. Okay. 
And you're like, you know what? Yeah, that's why there was something that I just couldn't quite put my finger on about this person. And it's really is because it's like you were kind of being clouded a little bit. Your judgment was clouded a little bit. Um, and they were doing that on purpose. They were keeping you there on, on purpose. They were deceiving you in that way. And it's just like, you're saying, no, I'm about to put this to an end because I'm not about to be that person. Like, I feel like, uh, it's like the respect that you have for yourself. It's like you stand up. It's like, I'm not going to be in that type of conflict no more. You know what I'm saying? While you get to go and do all, and do all whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying, with the forbidden fruit, while you get to go and do all of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here thinking we got something good going on, but it's like, but that's what you want me to think. And this Queen of Swords energy, like I said, at first, it's like you want to just kind of curse this person out and tell this person off. You know what I mean? But you stepping back and dealing with your emotional self first um, speaks more volumes because what it does is, like I said, it gives it makes them have to make the first move now. It makes them have to approach you. And it's just like they're they're like, you know, oh, shit, you know what I mean? You know how when somebody knows they did something wrong or whatever, it's like they approach you different. But as long as you approach first, they know how to respond. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you put in this situation to a whole end, and I feel like you're going to do it in a, in a very, very quiet way, actually, more so than anything. All right? Now, I do feel like this energy is way too big for the first 10 days of October. But I definitely can understand that this energy may be kind of like you may be realizing this during the first 10 days of October or you may be kind of getting yourself together during this first 10 days. Like this something it, it, this is just way too big. I definitely feel like this is probably something that we'll see come up more um, as we deal uh, with the rest of October in love. So y'all oh, just get ready in advance. I just, I'm already preparing myself for Capricorn to have long ass readings for <laughs> the month of October. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some advice. Spirit, how can Capricorn move through all of this, all of this energy? How can they wade through it? Eh. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So yeah, you backing up, backing out a little bit. You know, um, this is so crazy. This is really, really huge energy, Capricorn. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm sorry that you're having to deal with some of this. Um, but oh, the fact that you just stand up for yourself and you do it in such, in just such an elegant way, in, in such a mature way, you know, it's just like you catch on to what's happening and it's like, no. I'm not going to have this type of hurt again. I'm about to leave you waiting on me. You know, I'm about to see what you're going to do. I'm going to make you approach me. I'm not going to, you know, it's like, it's like that. So I'll see you guys in the next reading. Okay. Make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe, notification bell, all of that. Okay. Let me know what's going on in those comments. Just let, let me know. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope things get better, but I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye.